Spiral Horde. What is that? Is it anything useful? It is a weapon! Ooh, okay, that maybe that's actually a weapon for... Uh, Tinker. It is a weapon for Tinker. And that might actually be a good weapon to have. Because it, it... My main problem with it wasn't, was it, it wasn't doing any damage, really. Let's try using Tinker in this fight, actually. Let's do it! Now that I'm a bit more confident in my abilities to regenerate health, although, um, you know, I'm not exactly in the best position health-wise, so... That's uh, probably a terrible thing to say. <laughs> okay, yeah, we're, we're switching, we're switching, we're switching, we're switching back. <laughs> I, 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 needed, I needed to abort the operation at that point. It, it got out of, it got out of hand, man. It got out of hand. Where are all these orbs? Like, sometimes there's, like, a few. There's sometimes, like, none. And, like, the times that there are a few, then I'm like, okay, yeah, maybe I've made, like, a health positive thing. Wait, are the green ones magic? Because they, they restore anything. Oh man, I'm getting so confused now. <laughs> I don't know. None of this has really been explained. It's just like, they're going to be orbs sometimes, you know, they, they do things. So I'm just kind of trying to understand the mechanics of how all this is fitting together. Because I'm... Oh, I'm on full health. Is that because I just leveled up or something? Maybe. Don't want to rely on leveling up as a source of getting health back, but you know, let's do it, it works. All right, let's uh, take this opportunity to use Tinker actually. See what is, see what he's like. He's doing like nine damage. He's actually doing a fairly, fairly decent amount of damage, but he's taking a lot more damage than uh, Rauko does, I think. Uh, yeah, I think he actually does. Well, I've never really paid attention to how much damage Rauko takes, really, but. We'll see. We'll use Roku in the next one to see whether there's a balance going on here. So, do I have to light this with magical fireball? Let's try it. Well, I did it. I did it. Do I need to do anything else? I clearly need to do something else. It's like pole marks. I don't know what those are for. Maybe they mean a thing. Yay, we're jumping across stones. <laughs> I, I like that. I, I, I like the like very fluid animation style. I guess we gotta light all these things, and then the door's gonna open. So it's basically like a continuation of that first puzzle where we had to light the fireballs. <coughs> or light the uh, braziers, I should say. And uh, uh, oh yeah, I've got like healing heal touch. I should probably like use healing touch more often. Hey guys, I'm paying attention. <laughs> can we jump down here? We can jump down here. Oh wait, did that not open the... Uh, uh, am I on a timer here? I don't want to be on a timer. Oh, I think I am on a timer. That's not good. I don't want to be on a timer. Timer the horrible things. Alright, well, if we're on a timer... It would make sense to do this one first, because it's a lot faster to go between that one and the other one. Alright, let's try it. Fireball here. I still have enough MP, so it's okay. Then we run to this brazier over here, like this one, and then quickly run to the left. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's probably going to be like a chest behind that statue. <laughs> Just based on the fact that we're going to have to hurry up here. And... Light. Now, I couldn't do that any faster. There we go. We did it. We're going through the fish mouth. We're just going to have a look over there. Where am I? There. Is there anything around that statue? There is not a chest behind that statue. I am very, I'm very um, surprised at that, actually. <laughs> I thought, oh, man, we've got, like, pieces of the map that I've not got. Oh, because I saw there were dead ends, I didn't actually go there. Oh, well, they're close to the entrance, so I guess we'll come back in later. Just to finish off the map. I'm a completionist, you know, I, I can fully accept that. We can't go this way. Oh no! If only. How close are we to the actual like objective marker? Not, not that far away now. This is a new kind of enemy? This is a new kind of enemy. It is a flower petal. Let's just sneak around it and head this way. We're going to be fighting on the way back because I've just heard the uh, exclamation mark pop up. There you are. Very distinct sound that exclamation mark plays. Danglerfish! Oh my god, this. it's an anglerfish. 
It's, it's an anglerfish, but it's like flying. That's actually one of the scariest things ever. <laughs> anglerfish are creepy. Like, if you've ever seen a fish of an anglerfish, they are the creepiest, one of the creepiest things in the natural world ever. By far, I think. Where are all the orbs? I want orbs. I want you to heal me. <laughs> Tell me, enemies. They're one of the worst things. Oh well. I, I would hope that in this game, uh, I would hope that this game is good about putting save points just before bosses and things. Basically, things are going to need a lot of health. That would, that would be nice. Let's do it. We'll see though. I, I, I realise that I'm like using Rauko. I'm, I'm kind of overusing Rauko when I should be using th Tinker and things. I don't know if it, like using them actually makes any kind of difference. Like I think it might affect their hunger levels. Like the when you when you feed them, you know how the hunger levels go down. And, you can only feed them a certain amount. I think it, I think that will probably affect it if I actually send them out. But with Tinker, I think just having him in, in my party is pretty much all I need to do to get him experience, so... <laughs> I'm not too worried about... This is a chest I can open. Hey, I got a sandwich! Someone put a sandwich in the sewers, and I'm going to eat it, because I am... We can do I, I don't care about my health, clearly. Oh well. Oh hey, Tinker learned Pebble Pelt. A new ability on my own. Hey, maybe that's actually a ranged ability. That would be good to try out. Let's try that out in the next battle, actually. Is this a blue chest or a red chest? I think that's a purple chest. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to tell the colours sometimes. It, looks like it kind of looked like a red one further away, then closer it looked look blue. Why do I keep trying to open it? Can I not use Spring Lock on this? My wand is not powerful enough. Ah, hoo -hoo. Oh well. How many, like, okay, I want to check the telling stone just to see if we can see... Okay, I've got the blue chest. I don't know how many red chests, green chests, or purple chests there are. Okay. That seems to imply, I think, that there are more purple chests. I think once we've seen them all, then it will actually say how many there are. Maybe, I don't know. Let's go! I, I'm kind of, um... Fishing for game mechanics here. I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of hoping this is how they work. Oh yeah, I, I said I was gonna try like. Now nah, I said I was gonna try Tinker's new ability. Dang it. <laughs> okay, don't don't destroy them all, man. You, you need to give like him a chance. When, how do I like use this attack? How do I use Pebble Throw? I cannot use Pebble Throw. Let's just go wild then. <laughs> eh, Tinker's capable of doing a decent amount of damage now. Especially if we go wild. It doesn't like, go wild like have a negative ability. I can't remember, man. They're, like, they've, they've thrown so many mechanics at me about battle that I'm so confused about all of them now. <laughs> I, I get confused easily. This is also something you probably have noticed about me. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, I was going to check my familiars. And how do I like equip tricks? There. Uh, Pebble pelts. Okay, so he's going to learn really poorly at level 16. He's going to learn... Oh, okay, so we can... Uh, uh, getting confused. What's he got? He's got Sandblast, which we've never tried. Uh, we're going to learn Smash Hit in three levels or so. Let's put, let's put Sandblast on. Might as well, while we've got nothing else to uh, use it on. And let us head... Uh, basically... We're trying now to fill in some of the map. Okay, I think I think that's where the like destination is. So we won't we will wait to go there. Uh, you're gonna try and kill me, aren't you? All right, let's use Pebble Dash. Oh, Pebble Dash? I can't remember. Let's do it. <laughs> I can't remember. Maybe we have a Pebble Dash drive or something. Pe Pebble Pebble Toss, Pebble Throw. I don't know. Pebble Pelt. Okay. I thought I I got the feeling that it began with P, but I, I couldn't for the life of me figure out what it was. I need to heal. So you know what I'm gonna do. That's right, I'm going to heal. It's as simple as that. The answer really was as simple as I made it out to be. Uh, I don't have enough MP to use Pebble Pelt, so... Hopefully we'll get some, like, MP balls from this guy. Although that might be asking a little bit too much. There's a ball! Is it Drippy that's giving me those balls? I don't know. <laughs> I'm so confused, man. So confused. Blue ones should be burner, though. Blue ones should be MP. 
if this game is at all sensible. But that kind of just gives me the MP back for the uh, healing thing I used. <laughs> so not that useful. Uh, I'm just going to quickly use uh, Healing Touch. Because I need to. <laughs> it means we're not going to be able to use Healing Touch in battle, but you know. It's far more useful that we use it now. Oh man, there's a green chest over there. I think the gimmick of green chests is that they're always out of the way. <laughs> oh, maybe. Oh, maybe. Actually, maybe that is the gimmick with green chests. Maybe the whole thing about green chests is we're going to have to, like, find a spell to. Like an Accio spell to bring them closer towards us. Do I need to go that way? No. <laughs> Thank God. Alright, heading up to a new place now. We got a save point. Which kind of implies. Whoa, it looks nice out there. The good weather out there, isn't it? And you know, that's how you can tell I'm British. I see a new place and I'm like, oh man, it looks nice out there. It looks, it looks like good weather over there. Because <laughs> all I can talk about is the weather. Makes sense. Ah, uh, let us save our data to a new save file. Because I always save it to a new save file. Just in case the recording corrupts or anything, then I can like re-record it. And that looks to be some form of boss. Uh, am I prepared for a boss? I, I don't really see what I can really do to prepare for a boss. Maybe I can like feed my familiars something or something. Uh, where is like... <coughs> I kind of want him to focus on his like attack, but he doesn't. I don't have anything that increases attack. Maybe I could like increase his accuracy or something. Let's give you a sweetie pie. There you go. Oh, go ahead, Reko. Eat, eat the eat the, uh, eat the pie. <laughs> and yeah, a couple points of accuracy. I'll give you like uh, another one because <laughs> why not? Although your accuracy is already pretty high, but do you think I, I think Reko is more? Because he's a warrior type, I think he's more like more about attack and defense. Uh, the, you know, the physical attributes rather than the magical attributes. Because we don't really have a magical familiar at the moment. I don't really get what Tinker's really supposed to be. Because he seems really exactly the same. He's got kind of okay. Maybe he's more about speed or something. Maybe we should actually like increase his evasion. Oh, have an ice cream, Tinker. And I'll also give you. See, there's no point giving him magical attack. Since I don't have any magical attacks, well, maybe Pebble Pelts, but uh, you know, Pebble Pelt costs a lot of MP, like seven MP. I can see I've not really had the chance to test it out yet. I think I'm gonna kind of leave that one for now. Uh, I could give, uh, well, let's just leave it for now. I imagine later on we'll get more familiars and we'll kind of have to look into doing this kind of thing. But you know, for now. Oh my God, it's a king! Need a hand? It's you two. Look, one has retrieved one's one. Oh, good. Huh? So he wasn't kidnapped. <laughs> oh, the crook struck one. Oh. <laughs> That'll teach you to turn your back on me, you old tomfool, you. <laughs> Hickory Dock. That is one huge rodent. You squeaklings work for the fat cat, do you? Uh, no, we we are too slow. <laughs> <laughs>